going on guys savage tiger back at it again um yeah just got off work i mean i didn't just get off i've been chilling here watching the nba playoffs on my phone and then i just thought i'd make a video now um yeah i'm just uh i want to talk take a minute to talk about the lsu football spring game tomorrow it's tomorrow saturday april the 23rd in baton rouge louisiana at 1 p.m central is the kickoff um i just want to talk real quick about um but like what what I, what I expect you know what i'm looking for and uh basically what, I, what i'm trying to see tomorrow you know so we hired a new coach brian kelly we hired him around december yeah somewhere around december we hired him and a lot of the stuff he's done so far has impressed me and impressed a lot of lsu fans uh i just uh i like where it's going and we're not even we not even played a one actual game with him as a head coach and he seems to be making the right moves right now we've got tons we have the most loaded transfer portal right now and that but which helped us close out a recruiting class of 2022 as strong as we could for all the mess that we was in um so that's just basically what happened before now we just we have spring practice We've been going on for almost a month um and basically it all will be over tomorrow spring spring football will be over tomorrow after the spring game and it'll give us a good idea of where we are as a team and basically how how well prepared we've been um I hear a lot of positive stuff coming from like analysts and you know people that are always watching practice every day you know uh tiger insiders you know recruiting experts and people involved with the lsu football program in any way i hear a lot of positive things I'm, with how it's looking Um, I'm excited, man. I really am. Uh, as for tomorrow, we got a spring game. I was really hoping I could, I, I was, I would get to attend, but you know, life gets in the way. Sometimes it's just not possible. But I am planning on going to a game. Of course, like I do every year, and uh, when the season starts. I'm planning on going for the season opener, uh, LSU against Florida State in New Orleans. So that'll be good. That'll be my first time in the New Orleans Superdome. I've always wanted to see a game there. Looks like it's such a nice stadium. It's the stadium where LSU has won all its national championships in. So yeah. Um, but tomorrow, we got business to handle within our own team. Um, basically, what I'm looking for is for the team to, you know, play together. You know, it seems like last year was kind of a divided team. And I could see it from the games where we weren't, we clearly just wasn't ready to play. And, you know, there's games that we should not have lost. It's all it's it was a whole mess that we inherited, but I'm just looking for them to be on the same page, play with energy, want to play football, because that's what they signed up for. I know if I loved football that much and I was good at it, that's why I would be there. I would love to play. And especially if I was at the school that I wanted to be at, man, ain't no question that I'll give it my hundred percent every second I mean 
it's like these players nowadays, man, they feel entitled to. I'm like, no, you're not entitled. You are you the scholarship was given to you because abilities got noticed by the scouts and by the head coaches. And then you you know, I've seen so many times it's it's gone on throughout the whole history of college football where the players throw it away, man. I know I'd kill to have an opportunity like that. There's people that have it and they just throw it away for stupid reasons, man. I mean, that's what I want to see. I want them to want to play. I don't want to know damn prima donna attitude saying, oh, I'm the shit. Nah, you're not, sorry. You might, you're the best, some of you might be the best player out there, but you got to, you got to go show it. Don't just talk it. Attitude needs to be team first before yourself. It's all basic values of a team. That's what I'm looking for. Be on the same page. Show energy. Do your assignment to the best of your ability. And just have fun. Most of all, just have fun. Have some fun out there. You know the, the quarterbacks we're gonna have a tight battle this year um i'm looking for them to just show what they got same goes for like every position and just like i can name four players right now that will not be participating tomorrow aside from i already know Keishon Butte, our star receiver that could be a heisman contender next year and would have been one had he been had he been had he stayed healthy because he was racking up touchdowns like it was nothing in the first five games. The first five he got hurt in the sixth game in the second half or something. So the first five and a half games he was racking up touchdowns like it was nothing. He could have seriously been a Heisman contender. Um our star receiver is still recovering from that injury. So, but he's almost there, but he's not, not in time for tomorrow. So, you know, we all know he's out. Oh, safety major burns. He's got a still a lingering energy, injury from last year. Will not be playing tomorrow. Uh, freshman linebacker that we signed this year, Demario Tolan. He was an early enrollee. That's why he's playing. Uh, that's why he's on the team right now, participating in spring ball. Because if you enroll early, you can play. Those who enroll normal will be here by summer, which I'll talk to. I'll get into more probably later on when it's time. But, yeah, DeMario Tolan will not be playing because he's, he's got a little bit of an injury. They All all these players, all these four guys that I'm listening have very minor injuries, but it, it'll, it'll keep them out for tomorrow, but they should be all good real soon. Um, Ray Darius Jones, one of our DBs, uh, he's like what, our third string DB. And, you know, he's pretty, he's got some good talent. He, he was recruited as an athlete. Um, you know, he could play multiple positions, but we played him at DB. And he seems to be doing all right. Uh, he will not be playing tomorrow. Neither will Philip Webb, another linebacker or edge rusher. You know, he could play both those positions. I was really looking forward to him playing. I really was. I was very hyped when he committed to us in class of 2020. We haven't seen much from him. I, mean, I don't know why we haven't played him. Man, sure, he seems to be a stud, but it's gonna be all good. Some someone I was really watching the play. I'm bummed out he won't play tomorrow, but you know what? It's, it is what it is. He'll be out. Yeah, I'll get to see him this year, probably this in the regular season, probably. And uh, our last one, who was that? Oh, yeah, our receiver, Chris Hilton, very, very highly recruited, class of 2021, but an injury, a lingering in injury kept him out all season of 2021. He played in the bowl game. We had literally just almost no, no team left, and – he scored a touchdown at the very end, caught that ball, showed his breakaway speed. Man could be something special. He 
won't play tomorrow, but I'm excited for him to have a huge year in 2022. I'm ready for that. Uh, yeah, this, this is just some of the four guys that are not um, playing tomorrow that have officially been ruled out. Uh, John Emery, our star running back that hasn't showed much these last few years, was ineligible last year. Had a minor injury last week, but we all, they all said it was very, very, very minor. So he was going to be all right in about a week. And there you are a week later. He's playing and he's going to be playing. He'll be playing. I'm, I'm excited to watch him contribute to the offense. Give us a running dimension. Make us offense, an offense that's going to be very difficult to defend. That's what we, we want to be one of the best offenses in the country. And to do that, you have to have a running game. Because you can't be one-dimensional, as we saw last year. We had a great passing game whenever we could. And we had no running game whatsoever. We could not run the ball last year for the majority of the year. And you saw how it hurt us. So, yeah, you always got to be two-dimensional. If you're one-dimensional, it's not a good recipe. So uh, I think that's all I got for today. I'll I'll basically make a I'll, I'll make another video tomorrow after the spring game to you know share my thoughts and what needs work and what I saw that was good and how the team is looking so far. Even we got a long way to go until the season starts. So this is to give us an idea of where we are at. But don't get it twisted. Spring games are never an indicator of fully how your team is going to be next year. So. It is hard to tell because all you're playing against is your own team. When you know, when you want to find out what team you have, what what team you really have, and how your how good your team is basically for next year, the only way you find that out is by playing against another team. That's the only way you find out. You don't you don't find that out by playing against your own by a scrimmage. So tomorrow it will give us some hints, but for the most part, it really won't give us much. So. I mean, it's it's just hard. It always has been hard to notice what's good and what's bad. But I guess I'll just point it out tomorrow, and I'll see how it progresses during the the off season. And then I hope it everything is gonna look perfect for us to make a championship run in 2022. Anyway. Um, I'm afraid that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, go Tigers! You know what it is. <laughs> Like the video, comment, subscribe. Only if you feel like it. You don't have to if you don't feel like it. But yeah, that is it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a recap video of the spring game of 2022. Go Tigers.